Hi Neos Community. This is again another performance feature, this time in the area of um, fusion. NEOS 7.2 ships with a new um, a fusion object called NEOSFusion.MIMO. And I'm going to show how this uh, works. So let's imagine we have a really, really slow computation. And to show that on the demo side, I had to trick a bit. I'm outputting the menu here uh, in a, a lot of times. So that means um, I'm rendering the menu again and again. And if you see the spinner, so it takes like five seconds here. Actually, I needed to slow down the menu rendering quite a bit. So that's uh, like artificially slow now just for testing here. And I needed to disable the caches. So this is actually to be used in, in use cases where you have um, where you want to um, uh, make sure that something is only rendered once and then it's reused. So how does that work? So we write a new prototype. We call that, for instance, uh, menu main dot cached or menu main. Um, or we rename the other one to main dot uh, internal, for instance, and we inherit from the new prototype neos dot fusion uh, mimo. And what we need to specify here is a so-called discriminator. Discriminator. So that is actually how um, the the mimo operator um, um, can take the different um, or can distinguish the different versions of the content and. If the discriminator is the same, then actually this content is reused. Um, so that means we can call this main menu here, for instance. And then we can specify a value. And the value is, in this case, just the rendering of our menu rendering. So what this actually does is, on the first rendering, it will just render the menu as usual. But when the second time this menu main is rendered, then the system will use the cached version, uh, which is just stored in the same for the same rendering in PHP. So remember, the loading was quite slow, so I reload, and I am now done. So you see it's way, way, way faster, despite the many, many renderings we are we are now doing. And by the way, it's quite useful to look at the behind-the-scenes look, like how is actually the MIMO implementation done. So what you can do is you can um, select uh, this uh, Neos Fusion MIMO object, and uh, then you usually get, uh, you, you jump to, to a place where you see some kind of documentation in here, and all Fusion objects are backed by PHP objects, and that's what you see here. So that means the, the Neos Fusion MIMO um, uh, prototype is backed by the PHP class Neos Fusion Fusion object MIMO implementation. So you can also press Command click here and then jump to the source. And that's something I can recommend really a lot because um, these Fusion objects are sometimes and usually quite small. So for instance, the MIMO implementation is actually fetching this discriminator value. It has a static property cache. So that means this is shared across all the instances. And that's just an array where the key is the discriminator and the value is the cached value. And that's also what you see in this code here, right? We, we are actually checking inside the cache if we have uh, the, 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 the value already cached. And if so, we return it. Then we get the value. This evaluates the children and then we store the results. So you see that's actually a really, really small fusion prototype, which you can now use. And there's no need to fear like the lower layers of fusion because actually it's all it all boils to these kind of PHP classes and it's perfectly easy to write your own. So um, that uh, sums up my uh, my demo of the MIMO implementation. And I think that's especially useful for huge um, fusion um, prototypes and huge fusion trees you have in your projects. And there, this can be very useful to speed up uh, things like stuff like big menu renderings and uh, also big renderings of elements which are maybe done at multiple times. If in an ideal world, I would say you would not need that because um, the code is so well structured but um, um, and it, that everything is just rendered once. But in practice, uh, this can be a good stopgap measure to improve performance on a short term notice. Um, so that that buys you time to clean up projects if needed. So I think that's a really useful addition to the toolbox. So thanks for watching and see you soon.